Hello and welcome to Noratforyou.com. Hello, my name is Amir Borenstein from Noratforyou.com, and today we're going to show a startup guide for using our EMF meter. Okay, so in order to do the measurements, we need an EMF meter, and this is our most recommended for February 2023 EMF meter. It's the Cornet 8080 Plus. Uh, it's very recommended because it's very fast uh, and it has a very detailed display. It allows you to measure and allows me to help you understand what you've just seen uh, because the display is very detailed. It has a lot of info and it allows me to show, uh, to see the radiation that you saw and to help you from far away. Um, you know, it's for me to see it, you need a camera or a cell phone with a camera, a smartphone, but if you're using a smartphone you have to make sure that, it, that it's not radiating. It has to be in airplane mode, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the data connection, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data connection, and hotspot has to be all off also NFC, and when you put it next to the cell, next to the meter, the meter should show you zero, or close to zero, or that the, the cell phone is not radiating. Just for an as an example, I will pull it out from airplane mode and you will see this is the transmission from the cell phone now it's radiating to the antenna it's very high and it will uh, it will uh, interrupt us in the measurement because the meter will see the radiation from the cell phone so if you're using the cell phone to picture to, to photo or to uh, film the, the measurement you, it has to be uh, in airplane mode and all the communication has to be off so the meter next to it will see close to zero now I live in a low EMF house with no RF devices inside and uh, it is protected so the levels here are close to zero practically zero uh, RF radiation uh, if you're using wireless devices cell phone inside the house the level will be higher but the measurement from, you may have to make sure that the, the phone you're using to do the uh, films to, to film the measurement has to be in, not radiating at all so let's start measuring, let's take the meter, first of all how to hold it, you should hold it like this, not like this, so here you block the antennas, so it's not recommended, you should hold it like this, okay, and uh, the way to measure it, the first thing, the, the easiest way is to take for example the chair and to see in this chair how much radiation there is, um, but this will give you only some uh, clue or idea what's going on, uh, the right thing to do right now, or the more advanced thing to do, is to scan the house. And the logic here is as, as you go, as you get closer to a source, the levels will be higher, much higher. Um, my house is a low EMF house, it's located in a low EMF environment. Um, there's still some to find, you, you can still find low EMF environments. And there's no RF sources inside the house. And this is the level that you get. Once you get uh, close to windows, then scan the windows. Windows are penetration points, the points where RF radiation is coming from, usually from the street, from cell phone towers, from people walking by and cars also, and for also from other sources. Okay, so scan the wall, the, the windows. Uh, walls usually block part of the radiation. Windows that are not protected are not blocking anything. Oh. Here, this window, for example, let's see. I don't know if you can see there was a small change. The level again are very, very low. Scan the house and search for sources. Later on, I will operate here, I will turn on several sources and I will show you how it looks. And right now, I'm going to show you also this window. There's no penetration right now. And also this window, there's no penetration. By the way, the wall on this side had penetration coming from, had RF coming from it, because then my neighbor is using RF devices. So I use protection all over the wall. I don't know if you can see, but there's uh, aluminum mosquito net all over the wall, up until the, almost the roof. And inside this room, which is my storage room, I did a project of protecting all the all of the the wall between me and the neighbor. Let's continue to measure. Let's get close to this wall. By the way, this is my TV and my stereo system and my my media PC. 
and I don't use Wi-Fi in the house. All the transmission of those devices are turned off, is turned off, so there's no radiation coming from it. If you have a smart TV, you, 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 and you didn't turn it off, the, the Wi-Fi off, then most likely you will have RF transmission coming from the TV. Uh, this is a wall which is between me and the neighbor. Uh, earlier today I saw RF coming from this wall. Probably someone was sitting with a cell phone right next to it or close to it and I saw the radiation coming from it. Right now I don't see the radiation. There's no radiation coming from it right now. But it used, there used to be. Let's see how a low EMF source looks like. I will turn to uh, LF600, which is a low frequency magnetic field, and I will scan the house and see if there are some. Uh, if the level go up when I'm going close to a source. This is, for example, one source. Uh, I'll open it. It's the electric cabinet. Okay, I got my uh, dirty electricity filters here and I got the switch box, so the levels are higher than, the, than in my house. And also another source is the fish tank. The fish tank has a filter and the filter itself is a pump and the pump is a source of low frequency magnetic field. Also the heater, this is a heater, external heater, also a source. Uh, so this is how you do it. You use the meter, you scan the house, you uh, uh, photograph or video film the measurement and uh, you send me pictures. If there's no other uh, option than also videos, I like to look on pictures better than videos. Uh, and when you make a picture, when you take a picture or about to take a picture, just stand in a point inside the room or next to a window or next to a penetration point for 20 seconds like that and all the info will accumulate on the meter display and then take a photo and I will be able to understand what's going on uh, or to identify the source by uh, looking at the numbers on the display. Okay, let's simulate a few sources, RF sources and make, it, make a short and make a demo for you to see. So I have turned on two sources, one is a small one and one is bigger and you can right away see that the uh, levels inside the house went up. The first thing I'm doing is standing in the middle of the room and measuring the radiation for more than 20 seconds. The data will accumulate on the display the display will show the histogram, they show the max level, they sh will show the peak level and also the average. In more advanced meter I will be able also to see the duty cycle and in some cases also the frequency of the source. After that I will start scanning the walls and the windows and the house in order to find the sources and find the penetration points. As I get closer to the source or to the penetration point the levels will go up. I just found my first source, it's a decked base station, which I did all the time. As I move closer to it, the level goes up. It can be an external source, it can be an inside source, it can be also a cell phone tower, or even a person with a cell phone in his pocket. Next thing to do is to find a way to turn off the source or to protect the window. As soon as I will do that, the levels will drop source was just turned off and the levels are back to normal. Let's continue the scan of the house and find the second source. See that pulse, that small pulse on the histogram? This is our first clue for the second source. There's another pulse. It seems like our source is radiating pulses every couple of seconds. As we get closer to the source, the level of the pulses gets higher. Let's see what is behind the, those doors. Okay, it's the router, Wi-Fi router that was set up to pulse every couple of seconds. Please know that most uh, Wi-Fi routers will radiate all the time, so it will be easier to find them. 
again, the next step is to turn off the transmission and to remeasure. So that's how it's done. You scan the house, you find sources, you turn all the sources off one by one. And then you scan the uh, floor, ceiling, walls, windows and search for penetration points. Minimize the use of smartphones and wireless devices before the use will minimize you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.